Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well out there in real life land. In this episode, we have Mizo with us. Mizo is a Greek living in Germany who loves monsteras. So he is going to share with us five, I think five, different monstera species for collectors. So if you love monsteras and you guys are trying to you know, increase your collection of them. Uh, definitely check out uh, what he has to say about his different species and how he cares for them. And for those of you guys who are saying like, Jimmy, they're not called monsteras. The plural of monstera is still monstera. Yes, that is true. Hi guys, my name is Mito. And I want to talk today with you about five of my favorite Monsteras. <laughs> Let's get started. First of all, I want to show you my Monstera Siltipicana. It's not that big till now, but it continues to get new leaves. I got one stem with two leaves, I had to root it. And every time it got a new leaf, I cut the stem and put it back to root it and get more plants or a fuller pot of it. So I tried out to root it in water, I tried out to root them in perlite, I tried sphagnomoss, but I have to say I didn't see a lot of differences for this Monstera in getting some roots for it. The best experience I made with this Monstera is cutting the parts I want to root and put them back inside the soil in this pot and keep it moist for a little longer, something like two or three weeks. And after that, the roots are coming. You don't have to get them to go from water roots to soil roots or whatever. So after I cut it, the first leaf that came out of the small one was that big one. I had some issues with pests also on this plant. So I tried something out that I bought in the garden center and it burned my leaves. It really burned the leaves. So I think you have to be a little bit, yeah, careful with them and try out a lot of stuff. For now, I'm trying neem oil and with neem oil, I really made a lot of good experiences. It doesn't help for pests like thrips or something. But for fungus nuts, it's the best thing you can buy, I think. Let's continue with my Monstera Dissecta, which doesn't look really special or something, and it really takes a long time to grow. I mean, <laughs> I got a cutting with three leaves and cut it in three parts to have three plants. And that whole history here needed five months to come out like this. So, I'm happy now, I have two plants inside this pot and one plant there at the window. And I'm trying out, I don't know, I think plants are something like a little, yeah, scientific project you have. You have to see what does this particular, this plant like in your environment and how to get it growing to your conditions and being pretty and healthy. I don't have any humidifier I'm running the whole day. My walls would be black if I do so. So they all have to deal with a little drier air inside my four walls here, but they're doing pretty well and they are growing. During the growing season, they're getting for sure bigger than in the winter. And yeah, <laughs> let's continue <laughs> with one of my also most favorite plants. It's Monstera tuberculata. It's also growing pretty pretty slow here mm, i didn't give her a moss pole or something to climb on it so it didn't grow well and it didn't give me um new leaves or something after that i attached it to this pole and i'm having those aerial roots and these small here which are coming mm, that leaf uh got pretty pretty bad and it was also some kind of black i don't know if you can recognize it on my camera mm, but because she's getting those small aerial roots i think the next leaf which is coming now before the winter will be bigger and better so 
let's get see. It's really complicated to grow her for me in my environment. <laughs> I built these poles by myself and there is just orchid bark inside it because I'm not such a big fan of sphagnum moss. I know everybody loves it, but I'm not sure where it comes from. So I'm a little bit skeptical with that. And every plant that has a pole, for sure, I'm watering also the pole. I'm spraying it every, every night, but I'm not spraying the soil. That means the plant doesn't get any water inside here. The water is staying here till the next watering. We're gonna continue with one with Monstera, which is a mystery to me. Mm. It's being sold as Monstera Friedrich Stali in Holland. And here in Germany, I bought her at the hardware store. Her name was Monstera 86. So I don't really know what Monstera 86 is. I asked there and nobody could tell me what they are selling. It remembers me a little bit to Monstera Dissecta or also a little bit to Monstera Peru or Monstera Lechleriana. But yeah, she's pretty amazing because she's doing so well and she doesn't need a lot of water. She doesn't need a lot of humidity. I'm spraying her every day, like all of my plants at the night, something like 11 or 12 o'clock in the night before I go to bed. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to see her growing and getting bigger leaves and maybe she also gets fenestrations. I don't know really if she's gonna get some, but let's see. <laughs> the last plant I really like the most is Monstera adenasoni. I really think this plant is amazing because it has such a variety of forms. It has... Mm, I have three types, which I know, yeah, I know, I know which kind of form they are. And also I have a pot which is full of unnamed Adenosonis. Let's see. This type is being sold as Monstera monkey mask in Europe or in Germany. Mm. These were the first leaves when I got her. Mm. And all these leaves here are new growth. I had thrips on her. I have also two plants of that kind of plant because I really like her. Against the thrips, I put something chemical on it because the neem oil didn't did anything for me with the thrips. And I think sometimes we have to, yeah, be a little bit more extreme when it comes to houseplants. Taking something which is chemical sometimes makes sense. Then let's pick up that kind. This is also a Monstera adenosoni. And if you compare these two, you can see that the leaves are pretty the same, but also totally different. These have more texture and they are, I don't know, totally different than these ones. These ones are smoother, they have more like these narrow form and are not so round like the other ones. I don't know if it's a Monstera Adenasoni narrow form, mm, but it could be, it's complicated. I bought this one also in the hardware store and they don't label the plants that good. So, oh, I found the original label. Let me put it up for you. It says Monstera Minima, whatever Monstera Minima is. <laughs> so yeah, this is the second Monstera Danasoni form I have. And then we can continue to the third one. The third one was also a stem with three leaves. I cut it and I have also two plants at the window behind me. From one cutting, I took out two plants because I cut it back when it had an aerial root. And now I have these two plants inside that pot. It's that plant with the two leaves and the plant with these one leaf till now here. This is the original leaf. It is supposed to look like that when it's grown out a little bit. It's called Monstera Danasoni variant Bolivia or filigran. 
I bought it from a collector who is collecting philodendrons and monsteras in Germany since 20 years. So I don't know if that's the real name of her or it is something like the name the collectors have for her. But this is the name she had when she got to me. <laughs> yeah. And then I have a small pot full of one, two, three, four, four different kind of Adenosones. They were sold um, with the name Monstera Acuminata to me, but it's not Acuminata. It's absolutely not Acuminata because Acuminata doesn't have any holes and is a shingler. Mm, some of you maybe know, some don't. But yeah, these are not shinglers. <laughs> we can see these are not shinglers. And the fenestrations are really different on each of them. Also, the foliage looks a little bit different to me. I am happy that these part here survived because when they arrived to me, they didn't have any aerial roots or anything. The packaging was outside of hell. I yeah lost every single leaf that plants or that cuttings had when they came to me and have to root them in sphagnum moss. It took like three months or something till they had some leaves and something was going on on this plant. Also, um, she had some thrips and fungus nuts, so she didn't have an easy time at my place. <laughs> but she's doing well now. She doesn't grow a lot for now since one month. She didn't change anything. She didn't get a new leaf or I don't know what. But I'm happy if she's stable and if the foliage doesn't change or there isn't coming any new leaf. But also there isn't, please ignore that. <laughs> it was also from that chemical stuff from the hardware store, which burns her leaf. Mm. If the leaves doesn't change and they aren't getting yellow or something, I'm not getting nervous because also the root system could grow in that time. And maybe she's building up a stable and bigger root system to grow better and faster. So yeah, I think sometimes they need time just a little bit of time. When it comes to Monstera, I found out that Monstera Adenosoni needs a lot more water like the other kinds. Mm, I think it likes, in, in my environment, yeah, I can only talk from my environment, it likes a more moist soil than the other kinds. And I don't know, I, I could say it likes the most moisty soil from all of my Monsteras. She can deal with it, she grows better, she is more stable, the foliage looks good and it doesn't hang around like, oh my god, all salad or I don't know what. All the other monsteras I showed you, they need really less water. I'm watering every 10 days or something. I spray them every night, but only a little bit. I'm, I'm getting with a sprayer over the plants and spray them a little bit and that was. I'm not drenching them, they aren't dropping water or something. But you can't make that rule for every plant. You have to stick your finger inside it or look at the foliage, look at the plant, how does it look? Does it want some more water because it's, I don't know, developing a new leaf or um, there's going something on for her? It's an individual. I'm watching them every time and seeing do they need something? Do I have to change anything? Do I have to make something different or yeah. So <laughs> I hope that was good. That was my first video and I wish you a nice day. Bye. Thank you, Misa, for braving the camera and sharing with us your different monsteras or monstera uh, species. Um, guys, definitely check out his Instagram. Give him a follow. Give him your thank you and love and support. Um, yeah. And if any one of you guys want to share your plants or setups or care tips or basically anything, uh, reach out to me on Instagram and we'll make something happen. Uh, till next time, happy planting.